Hi, I'm Brennan Miller, and you're watching IE Preps Magazine. IE Preps Magazine here with a pioneer, if you will, in the Inland Empire. Can you let everyone know your name? Brennan Miller. Hello, Brennan. Um, so we're here because you are the first that we know of your kind. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself, and um, we'll go into later how you got into, into beach volleyball, but where did you go to school, and do you have any siblings? Uh, I went to St. Lucie's High School in Glendora, and I have one brother, and he's a twin, actually, so he went to Claremont High School. But... Okay, now, um, obviously, um, from your dad, um, you guys are, are uh, a family that loves athletics. Um, when did you start playing sports? Since I can remember, like first it was like soccer and then track. I kind of tried everything and ended up with volleyball. Okay, now what grade would you say you really got serious about volleyball? Mm, I'd say like seventh grade is like when I started playing club. And then I didn't start playing beach seriously until just a couple years ago. Now, what, for those who don't know, what, how would you characterize club volleyball? Um, club volleyball, okay, so there's club indoor and club beach, but club indoor is just like, I guess when it gets more serious, that's when you can like pretty much just get recruited playing club. So that's the next level for volleyball. Okay. Now, as you're progressing, continuing in volleyball, when did you first hear about beach volleyball? Obviously, we see it on TV. Uh, but when did you first hear about it and know that it was something you had the chance to be involved with? Um, when I was like, let's say 14 or 15, one of my club coaches just wanted for fun to take out my team and like pair us up and have us play in a tournament. And ever since then I was like, oh, this is actually really fun, like it's cool. And then like, so I just started playing a bunch of tournaments, I never really got training. And then it was just last summer that I actually started to reach out and get like legit real club training in beach. Wow. Now, beach volleyball, there's the, the big, what's the major difference for those who don't know between indoor volleyball and beach volleyball? Um, the most apparent difference I would say would be that it's two on two instead of six on six. And so for you, was it a natural like, hey, I like this even more or did it take you a while to adjust? Um, the beginning was pretty rough because it's a really hard transition getting out into the sand and it was like frustrating not being able to win and stuff but I still liked it so much more because it was a ton of fun but once you transition it's a lot more fun I, in my opinion. Awesome. Now um, obviously if you're getting into something that is well known um, a lot of people have people they look up to. Did you have a specific athlete in beach volleyball that you kind of looked at and said, hey, I'm kind of, I'd like to pattern my game or work ethic or work ethic after that? Um, when it comes to beach volleyball, one of the athletes I looked at to a lot was Carrie Walsh. Um, just because, I mean, she's like the best of the best in beach volleyball. And if you like listen to her talk, like her work ethic is unbelievable. Now, once you started beach volleyball, um, at the time you started, was it already a high school sport? No. So, even right now, it's not a high school sport, so it's not like a CIF sport, especially over here in the Inland Empire, but by the beach cities, um, a lot of high schools do have teams, but there's not like an actual like league for it. They just all kind of agree to do it themselves. So you actually had a bigger hurdle than per se students who might live in a different area where beach volleyball is a CIF sanction. You actually didn't have it sanctioned here, but yet you still pursued it. So how did you go from the steps of actually being a high school student to actually being able to play in college? Um, so when I first started playing beach volleyball, I would just go out to the beach every weekend and play a tournament. And that's how I got my practice in. But last summer, I started practicing down for Tamarack Beach Volleyball Club, which is all the way in Carlsbad. So I would have to drive down there four days a week for practice, which was like an hour and a half, sometimes two and a half hours of traffic drive. But I don't know, I loved the practice and like it was a lot of fun for me, so I didn't mind it. But it was just a lot of work, like the drive and everything. Now, that takes a lot of sacrifice and a lot of personal determination. Where do you feel like you get that from? Um, I don't know. I just like, I'm super competitive is one of the things. So like I hate like losing and I'll do anything to get better. 
And then also just my dad like always like tells me like if you're gonna be on a team like you need to be all in and like whatever you do like if you're gonna dedicate your time you better like really dedicate your time so I just listen to that a lot. Wow. Now take us through your class of what what high school graduating class? 2017. 2017. Take us through how you got your your opportunity to play in college. Take us through that. So um, a big tournament for beach volleyball is called the Get Noticed Showcase and basically you just play with your partner and you have what's called your sand recruit number and you write it on your leg and you just play it's just a normal tournament but there's like 30 40 college coaches walking around watching everyone and at the end of the tournament if a coach likes you they write your recruiting number on the back of one of their business cards and at the end like the tournament director gives you all the cards that you received and the next day you're supposed to call that coach and talk to them so my coach saw me there and then your coach from um, Houston Baptist University. Awesome. So, is that what you're attending now? Yes. What has that been like for you your freshman year in college and, and being an athlete? So, next year will be my first year is when I'll be a freshman. Um, I've been on a couple visits and I've talked to a ton of girls on the team and they said it is like difficult your freshman year, but I'm still really excited for it. Wow. Well, you're definitely blazing a trail for the Inland Empire. A very, uh, a very unique opportunity for you, not only for yourself, but for so many um, young athletes who want to get involved in what you're doing. What, are, what have been two things that you would say are key? In this area, if you want to get involved with beach volleyball, where would you say they could come and practice, or what? who should they reach out to? Um, so, like my first year of training wasn't as easy because I had to drive out to the beach a lot, but now I practice at an indoor beach volleyball court in Claremont. Um, it's called Kauai Beach Volleyball Club. It's at Pacific Athletic Center. Um, and we have really good coaches over here. So my coach right now, Tracy Weimer, uh, she coached at Florida State for beach volleyball. She was in the AVP. Same with my coach, Andrew Dentler. He played in the AVP. So like, I think here was like an awesome place to get training. And I met some of my best coaches here. Awesome. Now, you're not just playing volleyball and having fun. You also, um, you, you're a beast in the, in the weight room as well. <laughs> Um, what does your workout and nutrition uh, regimen look like? Um, so right now I've been working on doing my college preparation workouts, which are three days a week. And on my off days, I'll usually just like run or do cardio to keep up with that portion of it. So I pretty much work out every day, almost, except for maybe on the weekends when I'm playing tournaments, I won't work out. And I try to eat as good as possible. So that's the hard part though. <laughs> well, awesome. Well, listen, the Inland Empire and IE Press Magazine is extremely proud of you and wish you the best success for your freshman year. You are truly a trailblazer and we will be following you every step of the way as you enter college as a student athlete. Thank you. <laughs>